Yeah, it's an interesting question how, how our research or research in general can contribute to the practice of monetary policy. Um, the thing is, economics is complicated and it, it takes us a long time to understand the world that we sketch as scientists and it's simplified dramatically compared to the real world out there. And yet still, we took years to even understand what's going on there. So in our model, uh, banks face various constraints. They face constraints of having enough cash at hand to pay their depositors in case they come and want to withdraw. They face co leverage constraints that they can't lever up too much in order to hold bonds. They face various other constraints that you know that, that prevent them from doing certain activities. So in our model, we try to understand these constraints and we try to understand how they interact with monetary policy. And we came to the conclusion that the monetary policy, for example, injects a lot of liquidity in case banks need it a lot. That sounds banal. Then, then indeed it can be helped a lot. If they, if they, if they don't do this, then output might drop a lot.